Hi, it's Corrine for the Wild Orchid Craft Design Team, and today I'm here to share another wedding album. I know I've shared a few wedding albums in the last couple of months, and um, this is a recent one that I just did, and it's a custom order. And I will link all the products down in the description box below that I've used throughout this album. I've used a lot of Wild Orchid Craft products, so they will all be listed below. And I just want to share with you the lady who reached out to me, a sweet lady who ordered this, she had told me the colors of their wedding are yellow, gray, and white. And I hope she doesn't mind me showing this, but this was the photo that she sent for inspiration. She said that the person that's going to be receiving this album loves elephants. So I did incorporate a couple elephants in the album. Um, this is actually a thank you for their wedding, a thank you card for their wedding. So this is what she sent to me as to use for inspiration for the album. So again, it's yellow, gray, and white. I got the authentic classic beauty collection and this is an absolutely stunning collection so as you can see it's yellow gray and it has white throughout and a little bit of cream and black so I made the base of the album black I thought it looked just stunning together so this album is eight and a quarter by eight the spine is four and a quarter it's a huge chunky spine and I used a piece of the Heidi Swap paper because it matched perfectly and I used this beautiful trim. This is my favorite trim from Hobby Lobby and some flat back pearls for the spine. And as you can see, this is a super chunky book. I use the Laura Dennison Stack the Deck Binding System. I will put a link for that down in the description box. I also have a tutorial series on my channel on how I make my albums, I will put that down in the description box as well. It's a smaller album than this, but the con concept is the exact same. So on the front, I have this gorgeous lace trim from Wild Orchid Craft and box trim and some of their flat back pearls. This is one of their cutout sets. I love these. This is from the Trio collection and it's the frame pattern too. It'll be linked in the description box below. and. On the front, um, I printed this out from my Cameo. I backed this on chipboard so it stood up just a little bit. And for the flowers here, I have some tulips, I have some Tuscany rosebuds, and I have some gypsophilia in here. And I just think this is just beautiful. I added a little bit, I wrapped a little bit of ribbon around the front and added a bow. And here's the back of the album. This paper is beautiful, thick paper, double sided paper. So I did put a closure on the spine, big satin black ribbon to match the album. And when you open up the album, the first page has a frame with an accordion fold out. If you've seen, um, if you've been following me, you've seen that I've been doing this lately in my mini albums. I love that because you can get so many more photos in it. So I put a template in here for them to use as a guide to cut a photo and I added a little cake here so they can either leave it or add a photo on top and when you open it up there's ton of room for more photos. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 14 more 14 photos just in this and if they wanted to replace this piece and add a photo it would be 15 photo 15 or they can I didn't glue this down so they have the option they can add a little glue behind it or even tape behind it or they can take it out to put a photo on it so I wanted to leave it there to give them the option to do so so every page has a large pull out mat and they can fit easily a five by seven, a couple four by sixes, whatever they'd like to do. So each one, I won't pull them all out, but each one has one and I designed this in my silhouette. It has a bracket shape on it and it's the black that matches the paper. On the first page here, I made a little pocket. I used some of the um, liquid pearls to go around the edge. I used a gray piece of paper for the pocket and they can add a large photo in here and also in the pocket. This is a simple stories bouquet and a bow that I cut out from the cameo. So this is a great mat to, they can jot something down and then add a photo on the back. On the second page here, I did a belly band using that same flat back pearl and trim that's on the side of the album, the spine of the album. 
and so they can slip photos in here. And I did add a little tiny booklet. Again, she asked me to incorporate out um, elephants into it, so I thought that was cute. Cut those out from the cameo, and I cut a little bow to signify the little girl elephant and popped a couple hearts on there. And then again, this is another tiny accordion, so they can add a few more pictures. And then this just slips right back in there. And the, the seam binding is very forgiving, so that can slide right under as well. On this side, there is you can't see it, but a tiny pocket back here, so a photo can fit in there. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really raining right now, so it's coming down really loud. So a large photo can fit and tuck in behind here. I have this little tag from that I cut out from the Cameo, Once Upon a Time. So I just slip that in there, and I use one of these rose trimming organza trims, a few of the open roses, and some of these gorgeous leaves and they're gray so they match the color scheme. On this side I have a pocket. Um, I added a scallop trim on the top of the pockets, more of that flat back pearl. These are, I had these left over from Something Blue Prima Collection, so I thought I would put those in there. So if they wanted to add a, a little bit more journaling, they can. And I have a large mat with some of these um, cherry blossoms here in white. And then on the front here, I printed this out. It says our special day. I added a white chrysanthemum, some of the beautiful tulips, another cherry blossom in yellow, a little bit of trim here. And on the back here, I have a ribbon buckle. And I added one of the Wild Orchid Craft cabochons in there. I think that is so pretty instead of a pearl. So on this side, I was going. I did not want to cover this paper up. This is my favorite paper. So I was going to leave it, but then I decided to add a little bit of the trim along with pearls. And I left it open so if they wanted to add a full large photo, they could add that and it'll slide right under there. Again, did not want to touch this paper and you can probably see why. This is absolutely beautiful. On this side, I made a pocket. I used um, Spellbinders border die for that that I got from Cut at Home and I added this label it says our wedding added a couple pearls they can add photos back here and then I added another mat using the gray some of the paper I backed it on black and then this flourish is cut from the cameo and I added some uh, a few hearts there to pop that up On this side, I added one of those heart pockets, and I got that idea from Neen quite a while ago. I asked her if she minded if I used that idea. Um, I did this from the Cameo. I added pearls to the center of all of those, and I added this beautiful trim around the side. So again, it's a pocket, and I did add a little mat from the paper collection in there with a white chrysanthemum, some more of those gray leaves. And these little rings are so cute. I got those uh, a couple years ago from Joann's I believe or maybe Michael's in the wedding section a bunch of them came in a pack so I added those in there on this side I did another belly band with a happily ever after some more of that same trim to match some flat back pearls and then this is a mat from the paper collection it's the back side of this paper and here I also did another mat and as you can see I did a little um, printout from the cameo as well. I got that from the online silhouette store. Another pocket on this side. This time I used some of that bling trim along with flat back pearls on the top of it. A few more of the cutouts. This is from the Prima collection. Printed this out and added some of the cherry blossoms on top. I did a side pocket here using the Spellbinders border dies, added a mat here from the paper collection, a little cutout that says happy little moments. And again, incorporating the elephants, I think these elephants are just adorable. Cut them out from the cameo, 
added some hearts and they're all of these are popped up so they're a little bit dimensional on this it's probably going to be hard to tell on camera but I added some wink of Stella on the hearts and then this is a flip up so large mat at the top for several photos or one large photo and here as well and it's magnetized on the edge here I used again a borders edge die with some stitching the side here I have another pocket using the gray I use the border from um, Spellbinders as well some flat back pearls the rest of actually there's a couple more in here but the rest of the small three by four cards and then I did another mat with some gypsophilia flowers this word cherish is from the uh, cameo as well On here I have some of the little bit of white organza trimming, a couple of the Sweetheart Blossoms, a um, Tuscany Rose, and then a little couple little rosebuds here and a lily. Again trying to keep with the theme of white, yellow, and gray. And then I have a little tag, it says on a journey, or label. Another pocket, I don't know if you can hear the thunder. Another pocket on the side with the gray and I use some bling. There's a scallop piece here, and then this is a mat with their names on it and some flat back pearls, and then a piece of paper from the uh, paper collection. Here I did a side pocket with a mat that says Our Wedding Day, and I left that white to um, match their colors. And on the last page, this is just a side pocket. If they wanted to, they could add a photo here. And it's magnetized. I use the Spellbinders border dies for this. And you open it up. There's a pocket here with some bling on the side. I tag this as Mr. and Mrs. And then a side pocket here as well with a mat and then the rest of those four by six journaling cards. And then a large mat to add photos to. And lastly on the back cover, I have a large spot for a photo, put some flat back pearls, a beautiful gardenia with a couple of the white, or excuse me, the yellow flowers and more of those gray leaves. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. This was a lot of fun to make. And I will link everything in the description box, so please check out Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll have their YouTube channel, their Facebook, um, and their website on there. And like I said, I will also put the mini album tutorial on there as well. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.